it's super bright in my room because it's actually 1 p.m. I'm watching a movie early. It's actually 2 p.m. I'm lying. And we're going to spend the day watching something I think can be very depressing. I told you guys that I loved having a mind-twisting, mind-turning, gut-wrenching type of movie after we watched Shutter Island. One movie that kept being recommended was One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And I, for one, never heard about it before people started recommending it. Two, never watched it. Three, I don't even know what it's about. I did find it on HBO today. I see in the cover something that looks like Danny DeVito and Jack Nicholson. I could be wrong. But I am very excited. Other than that, guys, I just wanted to say that because you're watching this on Sunday, you should totally join my Instagram and my Discord because I am doing my fundraising stream for school and stuff. And if we hit it, that means we're doing movie nights and a lot of other fun jazz over on the Discord. You should totally join there. I have some movies that I really want to watch. I'm not sure if we're doing true crime on YouTube or on Twitch. We'll figure that out. I think I will probably try to do it only on YouTube. But yes, you will get the videos out in their own video after. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and clicking into this video. And let's get on with One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. <laughs> That's a long title. Does that mean that Jack Nicholson is also the director? Medication time. Medication time. Chief? She's already like Shutter Island. This is a mental institution. Oh, <gasps> there he is! There's his papers, and I'm gonna need a signature. I haven't seen him since The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he seems great. God damn, boy, you're about as big as a mountain. Look like you might have played some football. He, he, he can't, can't hear you. He's dead, deaf and dumb Indian. Poor guy. Ow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think that's... Okay. I don't even know what to say. He called me off guard. You like to look at other people's cards, do you? Never seen this one. Oh my lord. Whose turn is it now? Well, it's a heat trump. Oh, now he's going. Aren't you gonna right. play? Aren't you gonna play Martini? Martini? Please. Billy? Billy? I, I'm, I wanna win some. God. Get a grip on yourself. Poor guy! How, and he says, get a grip of yourself. He just wanted to play some games. What can you tell me about uh, why you've been sent over here? Maybe he doesn't know. I don't know. Chewing gum in class? Well, the real reason that you've been sent over here is because they wanted you to be evaluated to determine whether or not you're mentally ill. You've got at least five arrests for assault. What can you tell me about that? Five fights, huh? Rocky Marciano's got 40 and he's a millionaire. That is true. What? <laughs> we went from Rocky to Rocky. She told me she was 18 and very willing, you know. Mm -hmm. I practically had to take to sewing my pants shut. She might have been 15, but you get that little red beaver right up there in front of you. I don't think it's crazy at all. I don't... Well, I what do you like, think about that? Look like that kind of guy to you, Doc. Yeah. We'll make our determinations as to what... Uh we're going to do and give you the necessary treatment to <laughs> the side so this is workout class right now sit down i'm tired well, sit down oh, I don't... 
to get them moving. I remember when I worked at a rehabilitation home and an elder home, we had these once a day just to get people moving, both sitting and standing up. Mr. Harding has been heard to say to his wife, I hate you. I don't ever want to see you again. You've betrayed me. So, does anyone care to touch on this further? Maybe him. I'd like to write in my book that you began the meeting. Just once. <laughs> now this is awkward again. Mr. Cheswick? Me? Yes. Oh, poor baby. You mean there's not a man here who has an opinion on this matter? Doesn't matter. It's difficult for them. Have you ever speculated, Mr. Harding? Perhaps you are impatient with your wife because she doesn't meet your mental requirements. Harley, why don't you knock off the bullshit and get to the point? This is the point, Tabor. It's not bullshit. I'm not just talking about one person. I'm talking about everybody. I'm talking about form. I'm talking about content. I want to tell you guys something. You just don't want to learn anything. You just don't want to listen to anybody. He's got intelligence. Wait a minute. Trying to say I'm queer? Is that it? <laughs> little Marianne? Little Marjorie Jane? <laughs> on the street? Huh? Is that it? Uh, is that what you're trying to tell me? Is that your idea of communicating something to me? Is it? I only want to help you. I understand. Mr. Please. But I want to. Please. But I only want to help you. Please. Mr. The other day, you made some allusions. Both. This guy seems normal. All right, let's say it's true. Let's say I know it to be true, but you don't. And if that's your idea of trying to tell me something, you got another thing coming. You know what, you're some kind of morbid asshole or something. Now I feel like they are having him there to just to check him out. I don't want to hear it. It's a lot of baloney. It's a lot of baloney. I'm tired. I don't want to hear it. You know you're tired. Wow. The nurses are really bad at their job. It seems like they wanted to start a conversation not a discussion and right now they're not doing anything about that this guy doesn't need a nurse to tell him to talk about feelings he needs a psychiatrist he needs a psychologist and she doesn't say anything and they just let mentally ill people yap against each other it's just going to be a bad circle you know Recreation time, gentlemen. They don't need to hear what's right or wrong. They need understanding. They need people to listen. And when the nurse is just sitting there, yeah, talk about their problems without helping them out in any form or any way, it's just going to make things worse. Sorry, my entire profession just came over me. <laughs> you ever play this game, Chief? Come on, I'll show you. What the hell you talking to him for? He can't hear a fucking thing. Well, it don't hurt him either, does it? True. That's a baby. All right, you got her. All right. Now over there. Wait. You jump up and put it in the basket. See what I mean? Just put it. Man, she ain't hold still. Wait, no. Fast break. Defense. Get back. General, get this man around here. Over the chief. Oh, poor guy. That's 23 up, Cheswick. Huh? Hit. Hit me. Done. Shut up! Come on. Dime. I'm next, Tabor. You're not next. Oh, boy. Huh? Come you on. didn't make a bet, Martini. I can't hit you. Yeah, Jesus I bet a dime. All right, here. Go ahead. That's 20 showing. No, it's not. It's 10. Who's pitching the opener? Oh, Mac, Mac. Dedication time. Oh, oh he's going to go crazy being there. Stay back. When you're outside, we'll discuss whatever problem you have, okay? Patients are not allowed in the nurse's station. Understandable. What you probably don't realize is that we have a lot of old men on this ward who couldn't hear the music if we turned it lower. That music is all they have. Sorry, ma'am. All right. Mr. McMurphy, huh? your medication. What's in the horse pill? It's just medicine. It's good for you. I don't trust medicine. <laughs> not 
getting upset, Miss Pilgo. It's just that I don't want any. Oh my God, he's just like Leonardo DiCaprio. Very good. Mm, yummy. Because they were saying they were just observing him. Merci. Right now, it doesn't seem like they are observing him if they're making him take medication. Boy, why didn't you tell her to go fuck herself? Oh! You know, that wasn't very smart. She could have seen me. God almighty. Oh, and I feel like this guy, he isn't sick. He's there to watch him. I'm already suspicious of everybody because I know it's going to be a twist. Last time we were discussing Mr. Harding and the problem with his wife, and I think we were making a lot of progress. That wasn't progress. What I'd like to suggest is that we change the work detail tonight. We can watch the ball game. Well, anyway, this is no way to proceed about this. How would it be if we had a vote and let majority rule? So, all those in favor, raise your hands. Okay, guys, come on. Put your hands up. People don't want to see the ball game? I haven't missed the series in years, even in the cooler. When I'm in the cooler, they run in there, they have a riot. Well, Mr. McMurphy, I only count three votes and... My turn. Okay. But if they're at the ward and they're supposed to make things better for people, why can't they just bring a TV to the three people that wanted to watch the game? They're not part of the people that needed the schedule, you know? You touch me once more. Okay. Just touch me once more. Okay. Just once more, huh? Oh, Jesus! Anybody want to bet? Hmm? Chicken shits? Maybe he'll just show Nurse Ratchet his big thing and she'll open the door for him. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Oh shoot, he became all red. <laughs> He's sweaty. You see the rings? But I tried, didn't I? God damn it. Celia, will you marry me? <laughs> Why did you want to marry her? Well, well, I wasn't in love, in, in, in love with her. Your mother told me that you never told her about it. Billy, why didn't you tell her about it? Poor Billy, he's so cute. Billy, wasn't that the first time you tried to commit suicide? Oh my lord. Can you just say it out in the open? Miss Ratchet, Billy doesn't feel like uh, talking. Uh, why are you pressing him? Why, why can't we go on to some new business? Okay, I want to see the hands. Come on. Which one of you nuts has got any guts? They won! I only count nine votes, Mr. McMurphy. <laughs> he only counts nine. <laughs> only nine. It's a landslide. <laughs> <laughs> there are 18 patients on this ward, Mr. McMurphy. They're not even in the freaking therapy. Oh, I hate this nurse. You know, when they say only mean girls at school become nurses, this is what they mean. These poor son of a bitches, they don't know what we're talking about. Well, I have to disagree with you, Mr. McMurphy. These men are members of the war, just as you are. All right, all I need is one vote, right? <gasps> Make the deaf guy raise his hand. You're our last chance. What do you say, huh? Just raise your hand up. Come on, there's got to be one guy in here that's not a <gasps> fucking nut. Mac? He put his hand up. The chief put his hand up. Look, he voted. The chief has got his hand up right there. Mr. McMurphy. The meeting was adjourned and the vote was closed. 
Oh my god, vi fader alltså den damen här är ju faktiskt jävlar själv. Adjourn. The vote was 9 to 9. Ah, oh, come on. You're not going to say that. In the Norwegian psych ward, it's not like this. I swear we're not assholes. It was 10 to 9. I want that television set. This is making me so furious. And if this is a twist, I hate it because it's just baseball game. Well, for us right now, it's just a baseball game. Holy mama. I hate this woman so much. It's a long time ball in England Center. It's going. It's going. Somebody give me a fucking wiener before I die. Why is she so mad? Why do you hate Joy? Oh, that fucking nurse, man. What do you mean, sir? She, uh... The devil's work. She ain't honest. True. Oh, now look, uh, Miss Ratchet's one of the finest nurses we've got in this institution. Then this institution is screwed. She likes a rigged game, you know what I mean? We've been observing you here now for the last four weeks, and I don't see any evidence of mental illness at all. Smarter than him, ain't I? It's hard for something to grow on something that's moving. How did you feel about what happened yesterday? Sad. Angry. Well, you want to kill. You know what I mean? <laughs> there we have it. I don't have any more, but uh, perhaps you do. Do you have a question, McMurphy? Where do you suppose she lives? Well, that was the question. Fair show these guys who's nuts all right wait stand right here grab the fence here oh okay he's trying to leave it's understandable <laughs> how are people not seeing this hey what the hell is going on here oh my what great well not great but this is fun this here's candy candy this is the boys you all crazy <laughs> he's like yeah you better quit on this they'll throw you in the can again you know no they won't we're nuts <laughs> they'll just take us back to the feed farm see Oh, he got on. I was like, what happens if he falls out? Then we have a problem. All right, now we each one of us has got a fish. What are you laughing at, Martini? You're not an idiot. You're a fisherman. <laughs> Take your bottom hook. You got it? So now they're learning how to fish. And I hope it's going to be great. But I don't know what we're hoping to get out of this. Don't worry about it. He's dead, Martini. Jesus Christ. Just put it through his eyeball here. Is that how you do it? And you, you got, 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 you, got, got, you feel the hair. Thank you. Oh, this guy's already flirting. Don't call me unless you get something really big you can't handle yourselves. Keep on fishing. No fucking way. Are you ruining their sexy time? Oh, he's going to watch them. That's so creepy. Oh, no. <gasps> They're all going to watch. This is so chaotic. This is kind of wholesome, honestly. I think he's dangerous. He's not crazy. 
but he's dangerous. You think he's dangerous? Absolutely so. I think we've had our turn. Gentlemen, in my opinion, if we send him back to Pendleton or send him up to Disturbed, one more way of passing on our problem to somebody else. You know, we don't like to do that. Help him in what way? They just said he's not mentally ill. What is he doing in a psych ward if he's not mentally ill? Oh, for Christ's sake, don't stand it! Somebody get back! Give it to me! Give it to me! Jesus! Hey, baby, put it in! Oh, God! Let's go! Good job! Hey. Hey. He's just walking to the other side now. Get this side, Chief! Get around, Chief! Damn! He's, he's a basketball prodigy. Yeah. Put it in! He's smiling and running. Look at him! My heart and soul is happy. Oh. Now we can end the movie because now we're happy. And the doctors could keep me here till you're good and ready to turn me loose. Well, fine, Randall. That's a good start. Would anyone care to answer, Mr. McMurphy? How are they supposed to answer when that's your job? Now look, I'm I'm voluntary here. See, I'm not committed. I don't have to stay here. I mean, I can go home anytime I want. You can go home anytime you want. Because he works. No, Randall. He's telling you the truth. He's voluntary working. Cheswick. You're voluntary? Mm -hmm. Billy, for Christ's sakes, you must be committed, right? Mm -hmm. no, no. You're no crazier than the average asshole out walking around on the streets, and that's it. Those are very challenging observations you made, Randall. I'm sure some of the men would like to comment. <gasps> oh, my God. Uh, I would like to know about our cigarettes. May I have my cigarettes, please, Miss Ratchet? You sit down, Mr. Cheswick, and wait your turn. Go ahead, sit down. Why is she so angry? She's scary! Miss Ratchet! Yes, Mr. Cheswick? I asked you a question. And I will answer your question as soon as you've calmed down. As you all know, Mr. McMurphy has been running a small gambling casino in our tub room. Not to mention a tidy sum of money to Mr. McMurphy. <laughs> He's just smiling. How are we going to win our money back? <laughs> <laughs> sit down, gentlemen. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, 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 oh. This time, your fucking rules, Mr. Cheswick, I, I know little kid. You sit I down. I know little kid. Well, you're gonna have cigarettes kept for me, like cookies. Uh, Ain't that right? There. That's right. Now will you sit down? And he's gonna be all right. <laughs> oh, he cut himself very much. Yep. Yeah, can we let them out now? He just tried to help. He was just holding him off. Oh, he's just laying on the floor. Actually, heartbreaking. Did you speak? Oh, oh God damn, Chief. They all think you're you're deaf and dumb. What are we doing in here, Chief? 
Get out of here. Out. Still another bus. Let's go. You and me, Chief. What the hell? All right, out with your gum. Huh? Out with your gum. Uh, Why didn't she just use her papers to take out the gum? This will keep you from biting your tongue. Uh -oh. Now just bite down on it. <laughs> what the hell are they doing? <laughs> What is that for? Now one big breath. Very good. Electroshock? <gasps> now it's just like the rest of them. Oh, psych. <laughs> How about it, you creep, you lunatic, mental defective? Let's hear it for Blue Goose Randall back in action. No, he actually fooled me. We're happy to have you back, Randall. Thank you. Now what? They uh, was giving me 10,000 watts a day, you know, and I'm hot to trot. This woman takes me on, is going to light up like a pinball machine. Why do they do that, though? Yeah, baby, it's Mac. It's on tonight. Don't worry about it. I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, th don't forget to bring some booze. Smooth. Real smooth. Chief. Chief, I can't take it no more. Hmm. I can't. I just can't. It's easier than you think, Chief. For you, maybe. You're a lot bigger than me. Mike Murphy, stop all this holy roly shit and get your ass back in bed, you understand? Maybe bring a couple of bottles with him and uh, you're getting closer, brother. You're getting closer, but Oh, he's buying him. Sure, you can take a bed. Sure. This door drowned your pretty little self. <laughs> well, what seemed to be the problem? <laughs> oh, nothing. You just to put frogs in my bra all the time. <laughs> Don't worry about candy, honey. Sit down and relax. Go get your boat. Gently down your screen. Okay. Okay. That is so creepy. If someone were to wake me up like that, I would freak. It's gonna be so creepy. Hi. Eat this a bitch. Like, Murphy, what you trying to do? Get my ass really fired like the... Oh, shit, the supervisor. Come on, get your ass back in there. Come on. I forget to speak. I'm so sorry. Yes, ma'am. Okay, he's fired. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Man, gets awful lonesome tonight. I want that woman off this board immediately. Well, at least he saved himself pretty well. Yeah, she's gone and so am I, so get your behind on out and go back to bed. Should I hear words? Come on, let's go. Not even in a bed. Oh boy. <laughs> even he is drinking. And everyone just having the time of their life right now. Thank you. Thank you. I'll never forget you. Settle down. You did so good in this movie. Nicholson too. Hey, for Christ's sake. Oh, he likes the girl. He's not gonna stay here, bro. Are you gonna, 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 gonna marry her? Ah, oh, we're just good friends. <laughs> he didn't expect that. <laughs> he didn't expect it. He's like, this is perfect. Yes, Candy, I want you to meet no, no. the famous villain. Go get him, will you? 
What you gotta do is this one little thing. The kid's cute, isn't he? Think of me all the time. There he is, Billy the Club. This is so weird. It says you were gonna burn this one down. <laughs> boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. You couldn't have said it any better, honestly. I love you. Earl the Ranger. <laughs> yeah, real friends. Uh oh. I just say, man. I just say. Wait, but he was going to get out. Okay, it was a good plan. They were going to get out. It worked, and then it didn't work. Looks like Billy Bibbit's the only one missing. Billy Bibbit, leave the grounds of the hospital, gentlemen. I want an answer to my question. No. It's ratchet. Oh. Everything? Aren't you ashamed? Not really. No, I'm not. Adam boy. <laughs> you know, Billy, what worries me is how your mother is going to take this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell her. Are you jealous? Don't don't have to t t t tell her, Miss Ratchet. I can't tell her myself. Your mother and I are old friends. You know that. Do you mm, think my, you should mother. have thought of that before you took that woman in that room? Damn. So he got laid. What is so bad about that? He really wanted to. You mean she dragged you in there by force? She, 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 she did. Everybody did. You tell me who did. Mac. Murphy. Damn. Put Billy in Dr. No, Sony's no. office? No! Yes! 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 Maybe he's terrified of his mom. Because look at that reaction. Maybe that's why he's there voluntarily. Because he's terrified of his mom. Traumatized even. I'm, I'm just... I just have theories. Hey, what the hell is that? Matt Murphy, what the hell are you doing? Ah! Washington? the day room immediately ah! Come on, let's go did he let me through let me through did he all right oh, oh. 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 Max. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that is because of her. She was mentioning everything in the mom all the time, and now you saw what happened. <laughs> well, that was a dramatic ending. And then they're back to how everything was. McMurphy is out. McMurphy has escaped. They were taking him through the tunnel, beat up two of the attendants, and escaped. Said you escaped. I knew you wouldn't leave without me. I was waiting for you. Now we can make it, Mac. I feel big as a damn mountain. They operated on him? No. Or is it that they sapped him so hard that he burst? I don't know how, how that works. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna let you out. I wouldn't leave you here this way. So you can carry him. Oh. Wow. 
Well, he didn't carry him. And then he just leaves. No way. They say that Chief is still running to this day. <laughs> I knew it! Danny DeVito was Martini. Oh my lord. Let's wrap this one up, shall we? Okay guys, we officially finished another movie. This one was One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. It says here that in the fall of 1963, a criminal and a veteran from the Korea War. He says he's mentally ill and then gets added or placed into the psychiatric hospital. <laughs> and he really gets to take care of the patients to stand up against the tyranny of a nurse. So I guess I'm not the only one that hated a nurse. Yeah. I really like this movie. I thought it was going to be like super huge plot, sick and twisted. Well, it was sick and twisted, but I thought it was going to be a huge plot twist and all that. The biggest plot twist is that McMurphy died just like that. So Chief is running. He's good. And I was so upsetting about Billy, but I saw that one coming because she was talking about his mom all this time. And he was already suicidal and she saw that he took that very seriously. So yeah, screw the nurse. She's an asshole. We don't care about her. Should have been her and not Billy. I'm sorry to say that. That's absolutely absurd of me to say, but someone has to say it. If you want to watch my full reaction to this movie, if you'd like to follow me on other social media, all of them will be linked down below. Same with my Patreon, where we have full reactions to the movie that I post reactions to. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in my next video very soon. Bye, everybody.